Y'all know the other day I was putting, uh, applying the Prosico R guard onto that critical joint between the framing and this concrete slab and how important it is to seal that up, air and water seal. Well, I ran out the other day, so I got my, I got my masking tape on there, but I did run out. So it's been raining most of the day. Water's been splashing up onto that section. And I just want to show you, show you how, how water can wick into a house through the bottom plate. So it was just splashing on there. It hadn't really been raining hard, but look. Water has wicked. Water has gotten into that crack, got under the plate, and then wicked up underneath it. It just follows it. I do have some uh, foam underneath there, like a gasket, but still, it, does, it didn't matter. It hit it, and it wicked right inside. So be sure to seal up that critical joint, man. You, you need to have it sealed up. So if you're a builder and you're not implementing an air and water sealant on this critical transition as common practice, you're just relying on a house wrap or a piece of flashing, man, change your method. You need to because it'll just it's just gonna be more beneficial to you and your client. Because it's gonna keep the heat and air that you're having to pay to heat and cool inside the building envelope being more energy efficient and you're eliminating the chance of capillary pressure of that water making its way from the outside to the inside. Say you have a finished room now, you got a finished house, you got your hardwood down, your sheet rocks up, you're never gonna see that, you're never gonna see that water intrusion because it's gonna be covered up until it's too late. There are a few different brands that you can choose from. I'm using the Prosico R Guard, it's got the fiber reinforced. Uh, if you got a pretty good gap, it holds really well. You can use that. Uh, if you don't like the fluid applied, I like the fluid applied. I'm just, I'm just a fan of the fluid applied. Uh, Sega makes a tape that is really good. And then you can also use the Zip System Liquid Flash or a Polyguard product. So there are a few that you can pick and choose from. They're all pretty, pretty close to the same cost, but it definitely does not break the bank at all. So be that contractor that puts that little bit of extra effort into, into your finished product. But if you do this as common practice on all of your homes anyway, you're awesome. You're pretty much a rock star. I don't, I don't have to tell you anything. For y'all that are homeowners and you're having a house built and your builder does not do this, maybe, maybe he, he doesn't know about it. Hopefully, hopefully that's what it is. He doesn't know about it. <laughs> you can simply, you can do this yourself or bring it up to him. Uh, I gave you a few examples of the companies that you can use, but you can definitely do it yourself. So be sure to air and water seal that transition. It's important.